Um, and we're going to give a dance science class. We'll be looking at a topic called light. Light propagation down to light reflection. Now, what is light? Light is a form of energy which brings about sensational vision. Light is a form of energy which brings about sensation or vision. So, how will I explain that? If this is a source of light, let's say the sun, and this is an object, and this is an observer. And this is an observer. Now, the rays of light that shines from the sun is reflected by this strikes the object, which is this. This is the object, and this we said is the observer. Now, the rays of light from the sun strikes the object, and is what now is reflected. Is reflected to the eyes of the observer. Now what we're trying to see here, we're trying to see that this rays of light coming here is reflected to the eye of the observer. And so the person standing or observing is seeing the object by the reflection of light rays from the object. And so this right light rays that is reflected to the observer is reflected to the retina of the observer and this impulse is sent to the brain through the optic nerve for interpretation of what is being seen so we say light is a form of energy which brings about sensation of vision that's light now if that is light we cannot talk about what about light Light is a form of, the first thing about light is a form of electromagnetic wave. Light is an electromagnetic wave. When we say light is an electromagnetic wave, what are we trying to say? We are trying to say that light does not require material medium for propagation. Light does not require material medium for propagation. But light can go through vacuum. Take note of that. Light can go through vacuum. Light can go through vacuum, which we can say is air. Light can go through solid. And light can go through liquid. The speed of light in vacuum is 3 times 10 raised to minus 8 meters per second. The speed of light in solid is 2.0 times 10 raised to power 8 meters per second. While that in liquid, the speed of light is 2.3 times 10 raised to power 8 meters per second. Now, if you watch of the whole of them, the speed of light in air or vacuum is greater than that in solid and that in liquid. So we have it the speed of light, the speed of light in air, the speed of light in air is greater than that in liquid. Take note of this, and is what now that in liquid is greater than that in what now in solid. Light is a form of electromagnetic wave, and we said the speed of light in air is greater than that in liquid, and is greater than that that in liquid is greater than that in solid. Now, what about light that you need to know? They're all called properties of light. Properties of light. Properties of light. Now, what are the properties of light? The first thing you have to know about light is that light travels in a straight line. Light travels in a straight line. That's the first property of light. Then another property of light is that light can be reflected. Light can be reflected. It means that light can strike an object and it bounces back. Light can be reflected. Light can be refracted. And we say light can be diffracted. And we say light can be polarized. 
Now, if you've known this about light, what's the next part I'm to take you to? The next part I'm to take us to is to understand things about light that light move in a part called rays. Now, if you could illustrate anything about light, there is a part followed by light. This part followed by light is called a ray. So what is a ray? A ray is that part that is followed by a light. A ray is that part that is followed by light. That part that a light follows is called a ray. Then if I have this to be a ray, I have this to be a ray, I have this to be a ray. Now when it is more than one ray, it is more than one ray, we call it a beam. We call it a beam. So what is a beam? Now remember we have a ray, then we have a beam. Now we said the parts followed by light is called what now? A ray. But collection of light rays is called a beam. Say it again. The parts followed by light is called a ray. But collection of light rays is called a beam. Now it means that I could have a beam to be like this. Now if this is a ray, this is a ray, and this is a ray. It means that this becomes what now? A beam. But what kind of a beam becomes this? Is what now? A parallel what now? A parallel beam. This becomes a parallel beam of light. So also, I can have rays of light like this. Now, imagine these whole rays of light coming here just like this. You notice that the whole rays of light, they are coming to a particular point. They are coming to a particular point. Now, if you have rays of light pointing towards a point, this is our point here. If you have a ray of light, rays of light pointing towards a point, you call such rays of light, now it's going to be a beam, you call such a beam a convergent beam. Convergent beam. So this is a con a convergent beam a convergent beam but what about if i want to have another case now watch this if i'm to draw another case i'll show you something like this we are saying that objects or sources could be luminous or non luminous now the luminous can be natural can be natural or artificial now get it right object or sources could be luminous or non luminous luminous means it has the ability to produce light and no luminous means it does not have the ability to produce light. Now, this luminous can be what now? Natural or what? Or artificial. Now, when it is natural, what are you trying to say? It's a source of light that produces its light by nature. It has been designed by nature to produce light. But when it becomes artificial, it means it is man's effort for it to produce light. Now, if I take you through this point, you see something like this. What would be example of a natural luminous source of light? The sun is a natural luminous source of light. You see that in an examination question, which of the following is a natural luminous source of light? Another natural luminous source of light is the star. Natural luminous source of light. Another natural luminous source of light is what we call the firefly. The firefly. The firefly. If you grew up in some area, they call it mune mune, the firefly. Now, you see that fly at night that has the ability to bring light. One, 
at every interval the light dims goes off the light dims and the insect is either flying or on the wall that's what we call the firefly all these are natural sources of light now you have artificial sources and natural sources then you have artificial sources of light now your electric bulb is an artificial source of light your candle your candle light is an artificial source of light your torch light your torch light is an artificial source of light likewise it will surprise you to know that the moon is not an is not a what is not a natural source of light neither is it an artificial source of light the moon cannot be here so don't be deceived the moon is not a natural source of light neither is the moon an artificial source of light then where is the moon the moon is under non-luminous what now object the moon is what now is non-luminous wow so surprising to know that the moon is not luminous but you say at night we have all called moonlight yes we have all called moonlight but ask yourself how come the moon produces its light the light you see from the moon is a reflection of the light from the sun Remember we said, objects are seen by the reflection of light from their bodies. And so the moon we see is a reflection of light from the sun. That's how the moon is being seen. But the moon is a non-luminous what now? Object.